Well, it has been three years since I started pursuing a more minimal and simplified lifestyle, but there are several things that I have never decluttered from my kitchen. And I've decluttered thousands of items from my home. Some of these I've obviously had to replace. So when I say I've never decluttered it, it means I will replace it. I also really wanna get into some of these drawers. They really need decluttering. <laughs> so this will be kind of a fun video because I'll share with you the things that I don't declutter and then the things that I do. So let's do it. I'm excited. Thank you for joining me today and let's hop right in. This is a gorgeous ceramic mixing bowl that I got at the thrift store for just a few dollars several years ago. I use this almost every single day, so I had to include it in my top 20. Any large ceramic mixing bowl, doesn't have to be ceramic, I love it because you can pop it in the microwave. So any large mixing bowl is an absolute must, especially if you enjoy baking like I do. Okay, a cookie sheet and oven mitts. Cookie sheets are obviously great for cookies, but they also work really well for one pan dinners and roasting veggies. Then oven mitts, I love these in particular because they come up over your arm and really protect you when you're taking something out of the oven. These are silicone and cloth. I think every kitchen should have these glass storage containers. They're great because they don't stain, they seal really well, and then you can put them without the lids, obviously, in the microwave. So these are phenomenal. And then if you don't wanna store a bunch of measuring cups and measuring spoons, just get a glass one. These are amazing, something I've always had in my kitchen. If you do really like the idea of traditional measuring cups, then just put them on the inside of your cabinet doors. This has been such a handy way to store these and these little hooks, just grab them anywhere. They're super convenient. And I've had this, um, these stored this way for the past couple of years and they have just been absolutely perfect. It's a great way to utilize space, especially in a small kitchen. Hand mixer and can opener, two things that obviously don't go together. I have a couple of times had to replace my hand mixer. I've broken them and tried to go without it. I can't. You can even shred chicken with a hand mixer. So you've gotta have one and then a old fashioned can opener. These rust easily, so don't put them in the dishwasher. I actually hand wash and hand dry mine. Next up is a cheese grater. I don't just use this for cheese. If you wanna make soap or candles or anything with wax, you can actually use a cheese grater to like make little pellets or shreds. So this is great for crafting and for shredding potatoes, cheese, um, what else? What else can you use this for? Let me know if you have another use for it. But going along with that, I use my strainer all the time. So completely necessary. These hold up really well. I've had this one for several years and it's just always great. I recommend having a wooden spoon. If you put this over a simmering pot, it helps keep it from boiling over. Plus they're just really beautiful to use. I recently retired my old soup pot. If you saw that video where the Teflon on the bottom was all scratched up and I got this one to replace it. You have to have a soup pot. I do noodles mashed potatoes, obviously soup and stew, but these are so nice. This one came from Amazon. A cutting board is also a really nice staple. I like wood because you can use it as decor on your counter. That's how I have mine stored, and it just looks really, really beautiful, but it's also functional. The cast iron skillet is so handy. You can put these on the stove top, cooks really, really evenly, and then you can also put it in the oven. I haven't taken great care of mine. There's a way to care for these and I need to be better because I really do love this and I wanna preserve it and keep it for a really long time. Beware, these get very hot. I have a little silicone sleeve that goes right along the handle. I do not put this in the oven. I put it on when I'm about to pull this out of the oven and I double up, I use this and oven mitts. So very hot, it's so, so hot. Um, you can buy these on Amazon as well. It amazes me how much I have learned that you really don't need a lot of gadgets to have a well-functioning kitchen. Just a few staple items is really all you need. I am able to make everything that I could possibly imagine for the most part 
with just a few staples. So don't feel like you have to have the latest gadget or the greatest new kitchen appliance to have a well-functioning kitchen and to make delicious food. As a little bonus, oh, Swedish dishcloths. These are gorgeous, they're highly absorbent and they take the place of paper towels. I am just getting like my toe wet with these. I'm just starting to like discover how amazing they are. You can dust with them, you can do dishes with them. The best part is you can just put them in the top rack of your dishwasher. So Amazon to the rescue once again, aren't these so pretty? Let's get into this drawer. This drawer is my daughter's cups and we also have some cookie cutters in here, but we don't use all of these obviously. So I really wanna go through, see she doesn't even wear bibs anymore. I can donate this and I just wanna clear this out so that she can see clearly the things that she uses regularly. This darling little sippy cup melted. Oh, it's a total goner, but she did get a new one for Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in the drawer. We have so many of these, way more than she actually uses. So I'm gonna have her pick her top three or four little sippy lids and we'll keep those and get rid of the rest. While I'm waiting for her to come down, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I will end up with. So this is it. We are gonna declutter all of this. Now I might relocate some of these cutters like Gingerbread Boy, we have to have him. But this is all the stuff we're gonna be decluttering out of this drawer, that's a lot. This is a water bottle that doesn't have a matching bottom. I made this when I was like six years old, but she never wears it, that's all right. We don't use it, so I don't need it in my life. Um, these, I think, let me show you the cookie jar I have right now. I bought this darling little jar from Ikea the last time I was there. So I have uh, quite a few, obviously, cookie cutters. We love to make sugar cookies, and we also use these for sandwiches and pancakes, all kinds of stuff, and my kids adore it. So I have these, these aren't gonna fit. So I'll probably go through and see if there are any duplicates. I was able to rearrange and get the ones I for sure want to keep to fit, so that's awesome. And then I actually am going to keep this little one in her drawer. She uses this almost every single day for her sandwiches, and it's so soft, this rubber, that she can use it safely, and it's plastic, so this is absolutely perfect for a toddler. All right, that's it. That was a good declutter. I try and keep our mug collection whittled down pretty significantly, but I've noticed after the holidays that we had collected so many mugs. So I know there are a few that I can get rid of. Some of these belong to my kids and I don't declutter my kids' stuff, especially presents like from Christmas <laughs> without talking to them. So I'm gonna leave theirs alone, but I've got a couple that I'm not using. So let's go through and see if we can hopefully get rid of like four or five. Here is our mug situation. This is more than I like to keep. And especially when it starts crowding onto this side, I know we've got too many. There are a few back there. When you're working on a decluttering project, see if there's anything that looks really, really similar. So in this case, I didn't realize how similar these actually are, but this one has a bunch of fading on the front and this one looks brand new. So I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the other. We've got some cute stuff like this little fall one I've loved for a long time, um, but I'm just done with it. This one, adorable, but we don't need it. And then a couple smaller mugs. So there we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's awesome. This is the boundary that I wanted to set. So nothing that goes beyond this corner of the cupboard. 
I didn't want it bleeding over onto this side. So that is perfect. That was the boundary and we stayed within the limit. You see that spiralizer? Yeah, I have not used that and I think I've had it for a year. This is one of those really, really tough items where you say, I had really good intentions with this, but being completely realistic, I have not used this and I've had it for a year. So I need to go ahead and let go of the idea that I'm gonna use this. You just have to let these things go. I have way too much Tupperware. <laughs> the boundary is this bin. And this is where we are with it. Let's declutter. You might be really surprised, but I am going to get rid of every single piece of plastic Tupperware. These were a gift from my brother. He was moving and he gave me all his Tupperware. I don't like using plastic Tupperware. I just like those glass ones. So this was so nice. It was so sweet of him to think of me but I don't use it. So I'm gonna pass this along uh, as well as this cute little Happy Halloween plate. Or I can put this in my seasonal. Actually, let's do that. I'm gonna stick that in my seasonal. My daughter might still like that next year. I'm keeping Little Miss Bunny. This one is another holiday, but she uses this one as well. These bowls we haven't been using and it's because we've been buried. <laughs> so we're gonna uncover the things we actually like by doing this project, which is so great. Here are some more cups. Um, I'm actually gonna put these in the little drawer behind me that we just decluttered. Adorable. The rest of this is trash. Random lid, random straw, tons of spaghetti noodles. So out of this pile, the only things going back into the bin are these plates, the molds, four bowls, and relocate these to the basement. And then all of this we can purge, put in the pile. So, so much better. How cute is the Snoopy snow cone machine? It's adorable. We just never use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna check and see if it's missing pieces. If it's not, then I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. So we've had this Snoopy cone machine for a couple of years and we did use it at first. Oh, it's even got the instructions, but we ended up not being able to find the syrups for it after a while. So that's been kind of sad. So I'm just gonna look this over quickly and see if we have all the pieces. This has all the pieces, so I am gonna go ahead and put it in the donation pile. Over the weekend, I chipped one of my white ceramic bowls. I have another one that's a really similar size. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. I always have such a hard time with stuff like this deciding whether it's a declutter um, or recycle item. I do know that people sometimes use pottery and smash it up and use it in their garden. Or <laughs> do I say it's chipped? Just recycle it. I always um, get stuck right at this point trying to decide exactly what to do. But let me know what you would do with the bowl. Would you donate it or recycle the materials? Here is our donation pile. That is really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and count up the items and see exactly how many we're getting rid of. We're at an even 40 for items decluttered. That is awesome. I feel like one of the things that keeps us from making decluttering progress is we think we need a large chunk of time to get anything done, to make any progress. It's just not true. You can make incredible progress in a few minutes. Granted, I was moving my camera around, but that was 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes of work, 10 minutes of decluttering, and I got rid of 40 items. I mean, that's amazing. So be encouraged by that. So just start rummaging around <laughs> the next time you have 10 minutes. Look for duplicate items, look for broken items and things that you haven't used in the past several months. All of this stuff is just a quick declutter, let it go. I hope this video was helpful or motivating. If it was, I would love it if you click subscribe. I make videos like this every single week. Thank you for being a part of my day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.